I did want to hit on Georgia 34, Florida 7, uh, because this is why you don't start Anthony Richardson in his first game against Georgia. Uh, this was, and, and it's not just that. It's that there's a reason why Dan Mullen has not been playing AR-15, right? He, it's a reason why he hadn't been starting. A, at Florida, so I did have somebody text me yesterday that said, hey, Dan Mullen needs to figure something out at the half. This is embarrassing. They're down 24 to nothing at the half. They need to figure something out. And I said, there's nothing to figure out. This season is a wash. They do not have a competent quarterback. Yeah. Like, it's it's Emory Jones ain't good. Anthony Richardson ain't good. They can make some spectacular plays. But as far as being able to just run the offense and not make mistakes, et cetera, I, I mean, <laughs> Georgia... Georgia had three turnovers in this game. Florida had three turnovers, uh, turnovers as well. But Georgia was able to, you know, actually con- uh, uh, take, uh, capitalize. That's the word I'm looking for. Georgia's a substantially better football team. Oh, yeah. Like, but, but but Florida, all season long, had actually been, numbers-wise, they were great. They just made mistakes that cost themselves football games. Yes. They did the same thing here. Anthony Richardson, 12 out of 20 passing, 82 yards, two t- or two, uh, two interceptions. Excuse me. Emory Jones, 10 out of 14 passing, 112 yards, no touchdowns, no picks. Emory Jones had the one rushing touchdown late, late in the game. Well, yeah. Was that was shot. basically just a uh, – they, they just wanted to make sure they didn't get shut out. That's all it was. That's what they were fighting for. They're down 27 to nothing late in the fourth quarter, and that's what you're fighting for. That's absurd. I mean, I just, I don't know. What are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to just quit? No, 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 not quit. I just, I, that's what I'm saying is that it's it's ridiculous that this team, that's what that they Georgia were fighting beat the for. the shit out of them? Yeah, no, it's not it's, just it's that Georgia ridiculous beat the shit out of them. It's the best team in the country beat the shit out of them? It's that Florida should not be that far behind them at this point in Dan Mullen's era at Florida. Do you not agree with that? They shouldn't be getting beat 34 to 7 by Georgia. I, I mean, Georgia's okay. a great football team, but like Florida should be better. Gary, two weeks ago, they shouldn't have gotten the hell beat out of them by a shitty LSU team. That's what shouldn't happen. All right. True. When that happens and then you get beat 35 to 7, like, yeah, that makes sense. Why does that not make sense? No, no, no. I'm not saying that, it, like, based on the LSU thing, yes, absolutely. Uh, the the issue that I've got is that Florida should not be this bad. They shouldn't. They, they, the LSU thing right, one well, should have never let's, happened. Let's let's look at let's look at recruiting rankings for the past I don't know four years since three years that Dan Mullins has been there. Are are they anywhere close to one another at all? No. Th- this is okay. uh, Florida. So, is, so why so why should they not be this big of a gap? Why is why is that separation not supposed to be there? Okay, look at Ohio State and look at Penn State. Because it's basically the exact same thing. Penn State and Florida are are very similar in their rankings, and Ohio State and Georgia are very similar in their recruiting oh, rankings. So because Penn State played a closer game against Ohio No, Ohio State and Georgia ain't close. Ain't close. Gary. Not this season. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's I, a bad I just, analogy. I, I feel like... Give me Ohio State last year and Penn State this year. That's, that's a pretty close analogy. I mean, Penn State last year was worse than this year's Penn State, and that was still only a thirty-eight to twenty-five ball game last year. I mean, Penn State, Penn State last year offensively ain't worse than this team this year. This is the worst offense I've seen in the Big Ten. And that's some badass offenses. Okay, I man, that's I was them, them and I, them and Iowa look like they couldn't score twenty-four points if you locked them in the stadium alone with no defense. They look bad. I mean, it, you're, you're not wrong. Penn State did score 24 last night, but yeah, I understand but I know what you're talking about. 24 I, points, but it's a I know it's a struggle to do. Everything it. looked hard. Everything yes. looked nothing. This is not a team with top 10 talent on offense. This is not a team yeah. with top 20 talent on offense or top 50 talent on offense. Yes, yes. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. You know, Georgia another pick six in this ball game. Florida actually won the yardage three fifty five to three fifty four. Uh, they won drive point seven to three. But my God, when you give them the football uh, over and over, I mean, what you know? And Georgia was able to take advantage of it. Georgia's fantastic. So we we ain't Georgia's gonna, the best team in the country. Yeah, uh, if they don't win a national title this year, like it, there's there's major issues. Major. Issues. I think they're gonna struggle because at some point in time they will play a good offense. Now they won't do it in the regular season. This is the one thing that also we got to realize. They still haven't played a good offense the entire year. 
Uh, the the not, best not offense. Great, I'm not asking a great offense. They haven't played a good offense. The best offense they have played is Auburn. That's yeah, far. and and they yeah. they shut them down. You know, so they okay. Uh, but but that's how hard is it to shut that down if you've got a great defense, right? Like yeah, Auburn Auburn's not great. Auburn looked good against LSU. Auburn's looked good against Ole Miss. Auburn's looked good against Arkansas. Three teams that haven't played great defense. So true. Okay. True. Like the only time they look good is when they're not playing great defenses. Yeah. Yeah. You uh you and are not I like wrong. Auburn, but Georgia hasn't played an offense. I think Alabama would give them problems. I do think Ohio State's offense would give them problems. Like I like I'm not saying they'll beat those teams. Okay. I think Georgia's substantially better than everybody. Let's get that on record. But let's not call this defense the greatest defense we've ever seen because they just haven't even been challenged. I mean, if you look at their schedule, Jesus, and then look at the remaining schedule, they they won't play a top 75 offense the rest of the season. Hey, no, you're you're right. Uh, until they they're, get they're to the, in the hundreds. They got Vanderbilt. They've got Missouri. They've got South Carolina and uh, like Charleston Southern or somebody like that. Like they they won't play anybody in the hundreds. As far as offensive efficiency goes, Auburn has worked their way up to number 29 uh, at this point. But, of course, they did have a pretty good game against Ole Miss last night. So, that definitely boosted the rankings. But, um, but yeah, I mean, that, that's a, the only top 30 offense that they have faced. And, and Florida, I, it, so offensively, like as far as offensive numbers, Florida had been pretty good. But, you know, let's see. What, what's Florida's offense? Florida's offensive efficiency is number 17, but they don't have a quarterback. Like it's, Florida turned the ball over like nine times against a really shitty LSU defense. Okay. Yes. What do you think? What do you think they're going to do against Georgia? Nothing. Exactly. They're going to give the ball away. Here, take it. <laughs> you can have it. You can have it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.